What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another automotive adventure. This is actually part two of, um, of the video from before the, what's it called, mainline cars and coffee video. This is the second portion of that day. We're here at the New Jersey Motorsports Park where the RDS group, uh, the people who own the McLaren of Philadelphia dealership and a bunch of others, they're having a, a festival here, a festival of speed if you would. And they brought out a few of their cars can kind of hear their cars on track so we're going to check it out we are here a little late but it still seems like there's plenty of stuff to check out so let's go do it well, actually the other mclaren is pulling in as are the rest of the cars the, that session is currently coming to an end hopefully there'll be some more sessions that we can check out or that we've seen before but it's been Display purposes to show the offer for sale, and they brought out this. Now, what's great is that obviously there are no ropes here like there were at the last show, so we can actually get a much better, much closer look at all the fine details that make this car so spectacular. The the big wing on the back that wraps around to the fenders with all the arrow canards and flaps throughout the structure of the wing the details on these little caps right here with the saber silhouette and the windows are down so you can take a look inside that magnificent interior look at that actual saber and silver next to the dash plaque all the blue carbon fiber with the red or not the red the orange alcantara the matte carbon on the exterior and the crowns embroidered into the headrest and mso plaques all around you get a much better look. See how that blue carbon fiber just shines in the sky. And it might be a little hard to see, but there are some signatures back there from the Formula One drivers, Ricardo and Lando Norris. It looks like a few other McLaren signatures as well. Utterly amazing. Crazy to see this car and the Regera two times within less than a month of each other. Look at that. The way the metal flake just shines in the paint. Magnificent. So aside from the Sabre, the RDS group has also brought out some of the other cars here to show 488 Spider, a nice Papaya Spark McLaren GT. I do like this, I do love the Spider 488. Full carbon interior, some Porsches, another few Ferraris, Portofino and Aroma. 911 Carrera, 718 Boxster, really cool R35 GTR Nismo, MC20, Urus. Says, I do love these cars so much. For a V6, they look amazing. And so does this. Pretty, pretty neat indeed. I'm not sure how I feel with the yellow and the red, but I do love all that carbon. So let's see what they have in the main paddock over there because I do see a few supercars lined up. There's just no way I'll get to ever ever get tired of seeing this car up, up close like this. Oh, another thing I should point out to show that it is it is driven. You can see the rocks from the aerodynamics being sucked into the throughout the car, throughout the air vents. So it is, it does get driven. Another car to make a reappearance, the BAC Mono R. Again, from last week's video. Still looking amazing. It'd be cool to see if this thing goes on track. I doubt it is, or if it has, it already did. But still, nonetheless, amazing to look at. Just such a amazing car that I'm surprised you can put a license plate on. I can imagine driving that to anywhere on public roads. So an interesting little lineup here, despite us being quite a bit late. Got some nice challenge cars we'll go check out in a bit. A 720S Spider, 911 Targa, 911 Carrera, 991 GT3. Really nice on that color. I don't know the name of it, but I like it. This one again has the plaid seats. It's just so cool to see on these cars. 
blue plaid seats and six feet manual. New 296 GTB, looking great in that red. 993, another 720S Spider, 600LT Spider, another 600LT Spider. Actually, no, this is a 570S, not a 600LT. Very nice, nice dark gray. Love the carbon accents on this 720S Spider. Ooh. I do love the way that sounds starting up. The new Artura, again, and this one in the McLaren orange, I believe. Very, very nice. The V6 twin turbo hybrid supercar from the land of Woking. Looking amazing. I do love the new design aspects, the sleeker look compared to that of the 600LTs and the 570Ss. A lot of design cues taken from the Alva, and I believe, if I remember correctly, the only thing taken from the 570S platform is the frame or chassis of this car. Everything else is new uh, from the ground up. And right next to that is gorgeous Papaya Spark 765LT, full, full stage carbon. Every little piece, the MSO fender fence, all the headlight housings, and the MSO roof skin, which is functional. Carbon tunnel down there into the engine bay. And the continuing with the driver focus interior. I do like the wheels, the diamond, the two-tone wheels look really nice with this car. And you can tell it's got an aftermarket exhaust system with that titanium tipped exhaust. Gorgeous volcano yellow 720S spider next to that. <laughs> Tuck. <laughs> Clever plate names here. Very, very nice selection of supercars. Only we could have seen what it was like when the show was uh, in full force. Third and final for group. So I do have the next set of cars getting ready to go out on track here in a bit. We can see the Previous session coming in, 570S, GT4, 570S Spider, and somewhere around here is a chicane gray uh, 600LT that was also on track. So we'll take a look here, see which cars are going on track, and we'll go look out for them when they do go. So the Spider, the 911 Targa, the gray 720S Spider, the 600LT is not going out there. Very, very cool. Looks like we may get a chance to see some challenge Evos. Oh, that's dope. That is amazing. Now, the 488 GT3 Evo is the creme de la creme when it comes to Ferrari's race cars up until they introduced with the new 296 GT3, but before that was the GT3 Evo from Ferrari. So that is going to be cool to see go out on track. The pinnacle of Ferrari race car performance that isn't their formula cars or their hyper cars now. So this just pulled in while we were watching the GT3 Evo leave. Grigio over Puyo interior, 812 super fast. Cool to hear that six and a half liter V12 out on track. Who knows, maybe we'll get lucky. There you go, some of the cars down the main street right now. And the 720S downshifts the active arrow, followed closely by the 8, uh, 488 GT3, followed closely by a 570S Spider. Looks like they're having some fun out there. <laughs> More supercars rolling on in. We got an R8 getting back in. Ferrari goes by. We got a Murcielago Roadster. <laughs> Crypto on the license plate, awesome. Nice. Here comes that 
488 GT3 about More cars joining us right now. 991 Carrera GTS and a beautiful volcano orange Atora. Really, really cool. More cars going by. There goes one of the 720s out on track. The second of the 48 GT3 Evo cars has just started up, so I assume it's getting ready to go on track. We'll go get some photos of that and get some footage of it going around. It's a really good uh, spot up there. Hopefully you guys enjoy the, the videos up there of them coming down. I'm not sure what straight to call that, but good good area for them to get some uh, downshifts and, and whatnot. But while, while that GT3 goes out uh, onto track, it's ready for its hot laps. We'll take a closer look at the R8 and the uh, Slogger that came in earlier. Really nice with the white over red. Very common color spec for these cars, honestly. Still look very, very nice. And then you have very questionable design, but still a Murcielago nonetheless. Really, really, really cool. The Hercules wheels, the cool little badging for the 6.2 liter V12 engine that lies under the hood or on it. I do like the Alcantara leather combo here and that Trigo Lode cover for the centerpiece. It does have a lot of nice carbon bits on the inside. And it's a Roadster. What more could you ask for? Really, really cool. Very time specific, uh, era specific <laughs> in terms of the body modifications for that car. Well, that's pretty cool. We got a Shelby Cobra rolling in. That is really, really cool. And he just got it too. Well, congratulations to him. And that was pretty cool to see the comparison between a 488 GTB road car and the track monster that is the GT3 Evo. See the subtle differences that they have, the wing not being one of them. You can see the, how much more raw the engine is. Everything just exposed in where it needs to be. Not meant to look pretty, but meant to be functional. Same with the interior. I know I say a lot about driver focused interiors, but this is truly that. Look at those seats. You do not move at all. I thought my seat was in and out of. This looks insane. It's so cool. You can see how much more slanted the, the front end is and more extended the bottom. So, more canards, a bigger splitter, and better aero flow, of course. And even canard under the mirrors. Wow. In final call for Group C, Group C to staging. Third and final call for Group C. Very loud, but very quiet startup. Cool to see these cars going back out on track. The Cobra is down there. One of the Carreras just showed up. There was actually a GT350 Mustang that just showed up. There's that yellow Artura GT3 getting ready to go out on track. I'd love to hear that 296 going around the track. That would be awesome here. 993 getting ready to go out. GTS, 720S, and another GT3 Evo getting ready to go out on track. We gotta definitely get the start up of this. They're getting ready to start it up. Let's hear what a straight pipe twin turbo V8 sounds like. That is loud. <laughs> that is loud. Oh, the rotiform monoblock wheels with the center lugs, the carbon ceramic. This carbon, probably steel because it's a race car. But again, you can see how.
next session just started. The cars are going out on track now doing their warm-up laps. We're going to go back up to the bridge so we can get some nice video, uh, videos of the cars going by. And uh, let's do it. The A12 GTB, or GTB, the A12 Superfast is saying goodbye as he, they depart from the track. Uh, listen to that engine. Would love to have heard that on the track. There goes one of the 488s, kind of hard to see. Followed by the 993 and the 765LT. Let's get up to that bridge and get some good footage. Here they come. GT3, 76, 720S, Carrera, GTS. 488 GTB, 765LT, 993 Carrera. Pretty cool to see we have the other 48 GT3 Evo also on track. Both the race cars out. Look at that GT3. Nice. And behind it should be the 720S. 720S, 720 and here come the rest of the cars 48, the Carrera, the 765, and the 600 LT. the 993 again and quickly catching up on its tail the white 488 gt3 Woo! and the blue gt3 is coming in from the track let's see what else we got more supercars saying goodbye the mc20 and the ferrari portofino i think that's a portofino app i can't tell the difference of those either gt3 back out on track there goes the 488 GT3 Evo, way out there in the distance. And here comes another 48 GT3 Evo. Nice. Inside, but let's get a start up with this. The 
the subtle art of loading a car, a race car, onto a trailer. Even in this act, it takes precision. Dealership 296, the Portofino. That's not a Ferrari, the GTR Nismo. One of the Carreras GTSs. And the show is slowly coming to an end. Well, that's going to do it for today here at New Jersey Motorsports Park. Again, most of all the most of the cars have already left. The few that have remained are dealership cars that have to be transported back, like the Sabre here. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this. So we got here. Definitely got here very late. It started at 10.30, we got here at 1.30. But still, it was a lot of nice things to see, a lot of cool cars going on track, the GT3 Evos, the 720Ss, 765s, all that. Still a fun day, a lot of cool cars. Again, let me know which car you would want to take around a track, whether it's this track or any track in the world. And uh, besides that, I do hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you on the next automotive adventure. Be safe, be kind, take care.